The Subdivide program is essentially an advanced version of DCheck containing additional editing and design commands that make it much easier for you to work with larger projects and subdivisions. The Subdivide program is actually built on top of DCheck, and so when you're running the Subdivide program, you're actually running DCheck as well. The additional editing commands in Subdivide include the Break, Trim, Extend, Fillet, and Offset Tract commands. Each of these commands is discussed in detail in the other Subdivide tutorial lessons, but I want to take a moment and quickly review them for you here so you can begin to get an idea of what you can do with Subdivide above and beyond what is provided in DCheck. I'll start with a Break command, which allows you to break a line or curve into two separate objects. For instance, in this example, I could use the Break command to break this line here. Let me zoom in on it. There. So now the sidewalk is shown as one continuous area. The trim command is another handy command that trims lines and arcs to another line or arc. In this example, let me zoom in here, the end of this driveway extends into and across the road. Using the trim command, I can quickly and easily trim the line back to the edge of the road. The extend command works just the opposite of the trim command. That is, it will extend a line or arc to another line or arc instead of trimming it. The fillet command is another very useful command that isn't in DCheck. Using the fillet command, you can quickly create arcs between two other lines or curves. Suppose I want to put rounded corners on the swimming pool. I can do so quickly with the fillet command. The DCheck program includes an offset command that you can use to create easements, setback lines, and so forth. However, in DCheck, you can only create each offsetted line, one line at a time. In Subdivide, however, you can use the Offset Tract command to create an offset from an entire tract all at once. For instance, I can use the Offset Tract command to quickly put in a 15-foot setback line around the perimeter of this lot. I select the tract. I want to offset on this side, and I want to get it a give it a 15-foot offset, and there it is. Subdivide also includes a couple of advanced snap modes that you can use. The tangent snap, which is up here, allows you to draw lines that connect exactly tangent to an arc. You might find this tool useful in designing roads and creating road center lines. The parallel snap mode helps you draw lots with parallel sides. Both of these snap modes are covered in detail in their own tutorial lessons. Subdivide also includes a collection of design commands. For instance, the cul-de-sac routines will create a cul-de-sac for you. All you need to do is fill in the dimensions of the cul-de-sac in the spaces provided. Here's another example of the cul-de-sac command that will create a cul-de-sac at an angle point in a road. Now, of course, you need to do a little trimming in here to finish it off. But again, we would use our trim and break commands to do that.
Next are the predetermined area commands for changed area of a tract. These routines let you change a parcel to the exact size that you want. There are three methods to choose from, and each of these is nicely illustrated on our website, so let me pull up that web page and show you how each of them work. The first method lets you change the size of the parcel by sliding one of its sides back and forth. This method is useful when you don't want to change the basic shape of the lot. The disadvantage, however, is that it can change the frontage of your lot depending on which side you choose to slide. The next method allows you to swing one of the sides of the parcel instead of sliding it. Sometimes this is called the hinge method. And the last method is very similar to the sliding side method, which is the first method I talked about, except that the side is slid radially along a curve instead of parallel. This is very useful when working with lots on a curve or a cul-de-sac, as we have here. Now, let me change the drawings here. and show you about Deed Writer. Subdivide also includes the Deed Writer plugin, which creates a deed for your lot almost instantly. Once the legal description is created in Deed Writer, you can edit it as desired to put in the finishing touches using the built-in word processor. And using the options screen, You can change the way the bearings and distances are displayed. For instance, you can have distances spelled out or angles spelled out. And you can also change the units, be they feet or meters. The site calculator is one of the newer features in Subdivide and helps you to estimate how many lots you can fit on a site. For instance, in this case, I'll start the site calculator and click on the parcel for my overall site. Then I'll click on the non-buildable areas of the site, in this case my road, and last, I'll tell the program my desired lot size. In this case, I want my lots to be half an acre in size, so I'll enter 0 0.5. And the site calculator shows me that under these conditions, I can fit just over five lots on this site. Be sure to check out the site calculator tutorial for more detailed information on this powerful tool. And one of the more exciting features in Subdivide is the ability to include photos in your drawing, such as aerial photos or maybe an image file of a topo. I'll bring one in here. I decided to put it right there. And there it is. You can then overlay your design to see what impact the existing topography might have on it, and you can even trace over the image if desired. So I could take the line command and start drawing lines on it. There is a lot line there, a wetland here that I could trace, and so on. Well, that's a quick introduction to the additional features and commands that the Subdivide program provides. I've only scratched the surface on what you can do with these features, but as you use them in your own projects, you'll learn new ways to leverage them in your own work. Also, a final reminder that each of the features I've shown here are also covered in more detail in their own tutorial lessons. Be sure to check them out.